Well, the front pages of my newspaper are full of expactor stuff uh, this morning. Louis Walsh facing the sack, ratings calamity, and bullying backstage. Well, I don't know about bullying backstage, but I certainly know about the other two. Louis Walsh is awful. Um, he says the same thing about everybody. I mean, every act is the best act that was there. It's a wonder he ever fires anybody because they all seem to be perfect. They're all in or out of their comfort zone in every single remark he makes. Uh, he repeats the same thing over and over. And the big question about him is that if he is such an extraordinary impresario for, for making successful rock bands, he handles the people he's mentoring poorly. So I'm certainly uh, not surprised he's getting a hard time. The show itself, well, I think this weekend the show demonstrated that having the audience vote is a bad idea. Like, why have four experts, if you're not going to use four experts, why have a competition all along where the experts decided who went and who stayed, and then you suddenly abandon them uh, for audience voting, audience voting presumably only as a, a money-making exercise, and you don't have the expertise. So suddenly we were left at the end with two who should have walked through, Kelly and Sammy. And Sammy went. To be honest, I think Sammy would have gone too with me uh, against Kelly. I thought Kelly's uh, rendering of the James Bond song was just awesome. I think Kelly's super, I must say. The other thing is that kid with the red hair, that 16-year-old, the best performance she's ever done. And, and it really brought home to me why they think she might be one of the best kids uh, in this performance. The two who got through, who I was amazed, were the female group. I mean, how did the female group get through? They are, to me, averagely talented. And what your man Frankie brings to the party, I have simply no idea. Now, I appreciate this gender gap in terms of music and the songs and the dress, but this guy doesn't have any talent. He doesn't deserve to go through. I mean, when you compare him with Craig, when you compare him with Kelly, there's just no comparison. On the other hand, I, 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 I like the band, um, the four guys. I really like them. I, I like the harmony. I like the voices. I thought they deserved to get through. Sammy was very hard done by. Now, Misha B apparently is a big bad bully behind a uh, stage, according to the newspapers. But God, she can sing. I mean, there's no mistake in this girl's talent. And is she an awful person? Well, she may be. But I mean, Sinatra was no Mother Teresa. So I think people's individual character and personality isn't part of the judging process. And I certainly wouldn't judge her on that basis. She deserved to go through on the basis of her voice. One of the things I'm proudest about in these blogs was on the very first day, I said, Johnny was the business. Um, and whilst many of you looking at it may say, what does George know about singing? What does he know about acts? I'm pretty proud of the fact that I picked him up right at the beginning. His performance this weekend was brilliant. Compared to last week when Louis completely screwed him, dressing him up like Aladdin. This week, um, he was super. I, and the other thing, the extraordinary thing. Like, you got to remember, this is middle-aged unattractive, skinny, gay man living in pretty poor uh, circumstances in a bed cellar. He has wowed the audience. Now, if the secret of performance is connecting with your audience, then he connects. He was wonderful. But also, I think, what, what this X Factor thing is showing is the quality of the judging. Louis is just a joke. And up to this, I thought Gary Barlow was the best. But when I heard him admit that last week he lied 
and said Frankie was good, when in his heart he believed Frankie was bad, because he wanted to give him a, another chance, I think he absolutely cut the legs from under the whole idea of having a judging panel. One of the things, and I have some experience of this after all, talking about rugby on Saturday afternoons, this is not about being a nice guy, this job. This is not about pandering to public opinion. This is about giving your opinion and letting it fall where it may and taking the rap. Gary, I was disappointed. He remains, however, I think, the best judge of the four. The women have improved somewhat, but they're still, to me, pretty lightweight. Next week, I'll be glued as usual. Discovered, by the way, that my, Ingrid went off to London for the weekend to be with my youngest daughter, Alison. And Alison had her glued to the telly for two and a half hours, plus the results show. So, there you have it. Hook Senior, Mrs. Hook and Young Hook are all watching The X Factor. I'll be back next week with another X Factor blog. But for me, uh, it's goodbye. Tune in at 4.30. I'll be there on the right hook here at News Talk. Bye.